Hi guys, I'm uh, KC Lau here at my studio and I have the CEO and founder of uh, Life Engineering, Mr. Gim Lo, uh, at my studio today to do this webinar. So Gim, uh, can you explain a little bit what we are, we are going to do during the webinar? Hi, hi, hi I'm Gim, I'm a CEO and co-founder of uh, Life Engineering. And later at the uh, webinar, I'll be taking you through uh, why we are doing this, why we do Life Engineering, and then what is Life Engineering all about. Uh, what are the benefits and then how does it really work and then uh, we'll take you through how easy it is to just do the registration and i urge everybody to to look through the entire webinar and then uh, register yourself later uh so this today we are, we are first time meeting and we just found out that our son study in the same school <laughs> yeah yeah so what a coincidence yeah what a coincidence yeah. so uh, Probably in the morning, we, we took the same route to go to school, I guess. Yeah, I knew we live <laughs> similar, similar place, yes. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you can see Jim, right? He has a vast experience uh, in the banking industry, if I'm not mistaken. So here is Jim. Okay. Right, Jim, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Sure, sure. Uh, my name is Gim. I oh, Gim. The, the, way, the right way of pronouncing so is Gim. It's okay because Gim is from a Chinese word, Jing. Ah, so uh, I spend my years predominantly in banking and in uh, management consulting. Wow. Yeah. So uh, after this, that we, we together with the founder, we came across this uh, great idea that we thought we we're going to help people. That's how we started Life Engineering. Yeah, you are, I, I mean, I know that you are well established already I mean, in your career. And uh, why, why do you like come up to do this thing, right? I, I'm definitely curious about this. This is really something new and, and, and going to be big if it is successful. And it's going to disrupt some of the existing industry. I, I think I think uh, sometimes maybe it's opportunity, sometimes coincidence. Uh, maybe we are not something like saying, oh, we're going to change the world. But I do believe that we get this right. I, we, we, I, we believe that we're going to change the landscape in terms of healthcare, uh, healthcare costs, uh, and in terms of more importantly, you help a lot of people. So I think, uh, you know, it, it's just like what we think that if we, if we can help others, why not? And it's not like going to be doing like, you know, mm. uh, exhausting everything. But I think it's going to be a lot of effort putting together. But it's, it's going to be fun, I think, if everybody put in their piece of it. Oh, nice. So can you just uh, maybe a few minutes uh, tell us about the company, how you get started? and. Uh uh, we yeah. started back, uh, I think the whole idea started back some one year back uh, mm -hmm. with, with Gideon, who is the founder. Uh, you can see on the yes. screen, yes. Gideon, Gideon. Gideon Leong. Uh, Gideon came from Ipo. Uh, and then he has a great, he, got, he received a great vision that uh, he wanted to start something to really help people after he's seen, uh, 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 I think it's a lady that wanted to help, get some medical help. Mm -hmm. And then she went on to the usual uh, press uh, media to ask for donations but I think before the donations can reach and I'm sure all of you have heard of it most of the time before the donations can reach the number that they, they needed uh, the patient has passed away so that gives him the very strong inspirations to to get the people uh, then he, he approached me and a few other uh, the other two founders and then we come together to put this together nice and I think uh, this, this is uh, worth mentioning, right? Yeah, Jeff Chin. <laughs> right. So Jeff, Jeff, uh, I'm, I'm sure most of you uh, are familiar with Jeff. Jeff is uh, my FM DJ, uh, famous celebrity. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he, he also feel very strongly about this. That's why he's getting uh, very active in, in, in this and he stand up uh, in his personal capacity to support this program. Uh, to the right is uh, our legal director, which is uh, Lee Kai. Uh, basically, he takes care of all our legal affairs. Uh, he also happens to be my primary school friends. Nice, and you also have your dedicated staff and some right. uh, advisories uh, team as well. We are, we are, our business is we, we are live, so we actually do have a small team, uh, both on customer service as well as mm -hmm. marketing. I have a small team of five currently doing yeah. it now. Uh, we, we, we cover all languages. You can see that we are Muhiba. You know, we have uh, three main races with us. Uh, mm. <laughs> and then of course, uh, we do marketing. And then in terms of advisory side of it, we we have a doctor on our, as our main advisor uh, because this is about medical cost, medical care. Yep. And then to the left, you see is actually Nicholas Yo. Nicholas is a very renowned actuary. And he's, he's actually an actuary consultant, basically doing all the study about uh, the probabilities and the cost of a medical cost in, uh. this, in this particular program. I see. So actually, uh, I mean, actually, service uh, services is actually definitely needed in the insurance industry. So you, you have right. an advisor as well for that, right. right? Okay, good. So in today's session, we are going to talk uh, uh, 
answer a lot of question i think you you will as for the audience as well i think you know uh, i think you have you will have a lot of questions to ask about this kind of something new right there are a lot of things with that that we don't know so and you can post your question in the q a box and we'll try to address it whatever question whatever thing you want to grill game here you can always <laughs> put it in the q a box feel yeah feel free. feel free to do so so uh, by the way we are going to do a very short presentation on uh, what life engineering is about sure uh, let me just take you through i think the more important thing is that uh every time we launch if we somebody launch something i think the important thing is that what does it uh, address and what what is the situation and i think something that's close to our heart is basically our health mm. i think uh once you know at some point in time in our life we definitely fall sick uh either ourselves or our loved ones and then when you fall sick it becomes a headache not so much of just because the person can recover or not also a lot of times it's because can you afford to pay the bill or not yeah. and i think it is not new to everybody or anymore that uh, medical cost is going up by 10 to 15 percent a year and you can see this number appearing in any of the media and and if you look at 10 15 percent it may not look scary but actually it is scary because mm -hmm. if you compound this one in five years time whatever it costs you now it will double yeah, so, five years will be double. Uh, <laughs> crazy. So, so it's a, it's a really crazy numbers <laughs> if you think about it. Something that costs three, four thousand to be treated now could cost maybe eight thousand to be treated in four, five years time. And then we, we, we are get we are getting healthier. We live longer, and we will face this issue uh, yeah. as we go. But that's the first thing. Second thing is that uh, uh, this this is something very new that came out. Uh, mm -hmm. I think about two weeks ago in Malay Mail online. That yeah, that's you, you, uh, basically the association of uh, mm -hmm. private hospitals basically cited that uh, there is 30 percent dropped in uh, admissions in private hospitals what do you mean drop in that private? means there are fewer 30 percent fewer people going to private hospitals and where oh. do they go I see. certainly they go to public, public hospitals, hospital right? because they could not afford right private so people not. trade off cost over waiting and everybody knows that public hospitals tend to be more overcrowded uh, you have to wait longer it's cheaper yeah. you have to wait longer but people up to lo wait longer because I think cost is going to be a cost is a concern for them. So we see that there is a cost concern and people are reacting to it. Two is that I think eventually we will have another problem, which is the overcrowding of the public hospitals. Yeah. Right, we will see getting more and more people going there. And in fact, the government is actually trying to. They have been talking about the health ministry is actually looking into voluntary self insurance scheme to figure how to resolve this issue. Yeah. Uh, so, so I think this is going to be. We also hope that our program, this one, will address one of these issues that's coming up uh, facing uh, our country. The, th the third one is basically uh, maybe maybe it's surprising to some of you, but it's, it is uh, originally surprising to me when it, when I came across this somewhere in last year mm. that uh, there are thirty five percent of people actually pay for their own medical costs. Even in private hospital, uh, not everyone private, have insurance. Uh, even in private, so not everybody has insurance. Uh, maybe because they couldn't qualify. Maybe they thought that there's a che cheaper way instead of paying every month. They just pay when it happens to them. Oh. But this is actually an alarming number. And imagine that if you go back to the just ten fifteen percent escalation cost in in five years times. I don't know if they can <laughs> afford to pay for themselves. And the trend is that there are more and more people going to do that because they are managing the cost and everybody knows that we are facing this cost issue, particularly in our country. Mm. So with this context, I think, I think the timing is such that I think it's a pressing issue. We may not think of it every day, but I, I'm, I'm sure it's an issue that will bug you the minute you fall sick, the minute some of your loved ones fall sick. So we, we, with Gideon having the vision, came across this idea, we came together, we started this, yeah. this platform called Life Engineering. Life engineering essentially is a crowd sharing platform. Everybody probably heard of crowdfunding. Yeah. Uh, crowd sharing is slightly different. I mean, let me just talk about what's crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is basically you, 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 you gather money from the public and then you fund a particular project. Yeah. Crowd sharing means you pull everybody together. We are a platform. We are an administrator. Life engineering is an administrator. We pull everybody together to join the platform. Then we share the medical cost. Mm -hmm. So that means the amount is it is not fixed upfront. We don't collect premium or we don't collect money upfront from you, right? Uh, we only share the actual medical cost incurred. For example, if we have ten thousand people, ten thousand uh, sharer, we call sharer like mm. people who join the community. We call sharer. If we have ten thousand sharer in the community, mm. and for some 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 of the sharers fell sick and went to hospital and sick hospitalization, mm -hmm. and the medical bill came out to be hundred thousand for the total community. Mm -hmm. Then for that month, the 100,000 divided by 10,000, everybody only chip in 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. That means for a mere 10 ringgit, you will have covered the cost. So if for that month, nobody falls sick, 
how much do we share? You don't have to share anything. Then the zero. So uh-huh. so in that sense, we 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 are sharing the cost, and the way we do is that we don't add additional. Well, I don't add our cost. We don't add the administrative cost into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what you share is actual medical cost. So compared to other programs, you see, you definitely this would be a lot cost savings because there's no other uh, margin being built into it. Yeah, because then, no agent commissions. Yeah. No that, other kind of profit being uh, correct. You know, correct. There's no operating cost, no profit, or no mm. no commissions being built into it, uh, because the whole idea is try to alleviate uh, the problem that people are facing, mm. right? And and I think a lot some people may ask that is it safe? Uh, it is it, safe because we do collect. Uh, it's not we collect. We ask sharers to contribute a uh, uh, hundred ringgit deposit, mm. but the deposit is kept with the independent trustee. We don't receive the money. It's kept with a, a, a global trustee that is governed by a trusted. So yeah. anything, the trustee will manage the money and mm. the company doesn't receive a single cent unless we cross share and claim the money. Mm. Okay, uh. so the structure is structured in such a way. I think like Unitrust also the same, right? right. The fund manager, they don't uh, touch the money. Right. Basically, the money is parked with the trustee, that's why I call it unit trust. Correct. So this is like the same structure, isn't it? True. Okay. So so some of you may think that are we an insurance <laughs> or not? We are not. We are not. I mean of course we address the medical costs. We don't compete with insurance. We don't want to replace insurance. In fact you can still have your medical insurance. Uh, it's just that we are an alternative solution to it. That you can have it have a peace of mind that you have somebody to share with you. Yeah. And then the cost of participating is not very high. And then you can still have your insurance. In fact, we are talking to insurance company to be a partner. We are talking to reinsurance company to be a partner. So we are uh, uh, coexisting in the in the ecosystem. So Gim, I think this is a very sensitive question because even before I start this session, right, I already got uh, members who are like asking about this question already about sure. insurance. Is it? They they also saw uh, like lately just uh, Bank Naga they come up with uh, a circular that has, they are saying that uh, uh, if you want to operate an insurance uh, business you have to have the licensing from from Bank Naga of course the approval uh, so but in your case you are not insurance company so that's nothing to do with Bank Naga isn't it yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Casey, yeah. thanks for bringing this up. I mean, we are not an insurance. Mm. Uh, by definition, we are only a platform. We actually get everybody together mm. and share, right? So so our role is to facilitate facilitate the sharing. Mm. Uh, it happens that the one the amount, the thing that we are sharing is a medical cost, mm. which is very close to what uh, insurance, one of the insurance uh, uh, industry's products, yeah. but we're not an insurance company. But I think Ben Agar recently mention this is because I think something new mm. so I think it's, it's good for people to be alert but it's not something negative it's just yeah. something new that people should get to know more yes. and I think that's why we, we, we are we are very open we are open to all the questions we don't yeah. mind coming up to the, the, the sessions like this to, to answer even more questions for that yep okay nice so uh when we're, when we're saying that it's something new in Malaysia, but it's not something new elsewhere, right? It's like yeah. uh, it's quite established elsewhere. In an app basis, it's actually new maybe one year ago. Uh, oh. China started this some back one year back. Uh, oh. China in China they call it Hu Zhu for for those people who happen to speak Mandarin. Hu Zhu. Ah, Hu Xiang Bang Zhu. Right. The word. Help each other. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's exactly what it is. It's a platform whereby people share. But I think in China, slightly different from what we do is that China is uh, a few main features that's different. One is that they only help you once. Mm-hmm. If you if if you if you if you share your your situation once, uh, then that's it. You no no can no, can no longer ask for help. Compared oh. to our case, that you can ask for help as many times as you want. Mm-hmm. But of course, I always tell the sharer, you don't want to ask for help many many times <laughs> because that means you are sick. And then you're getting worse if you if you keep asking for help. But if you really need help, that's what the community is about. We, you, people don't just fall sick once; people fall sick throughout their lifetime. Yeah. And we are a lifetime program. Second thing is that for for um, China program is that they very far, much focus on critical illnesses. Uh-huh. So a, a bit similar to a critical illness program for insurance company. But for us, we we basically cover your hospitalization. You could be going in for a dengue. Mm. that you need and but it's not a critical illness but sometimes dengue can become critical yeah. if it's not handled properly what, what we cover is what, what, what we share sorry I just correct the word yeah. it's not a word cover what we can, what you can share is uh, the cost that you can share is basically hospitalization so when that you means you have to stay in hospital correct to, to when you need to be hospitalized to, to because the, the, the motive of this the, the vision and motive of this program is that it's meant to 
relieve you from your financial burden. Mm. So if it's only a clinic, usual the g- general illnesses you can take care of yourself. Then we let you take care of yourself. You don't have to ask the whole community to share with you yeah. a two hundred ringgit uh, clinic bill, yeah. right? But you want public the community to help you to share a four thousand uh, operation bill mm. because the public could create a burden to you. Right? Yeah, makes sense. Okay, good. So what's the benefit? Mm. The, the the benefit is that I think. It, more importantly, you look back, it's a, more like a vision. We always believe that medical care, it should be your rights, your yeah. birthright. Mm. You should access to medical care. Not It's not a privilege for the rich people. Mm. But currently, it's, 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 it can get more and more expensive. Yeah. So the benefit is that to participate, uh, you your maximum you, know, you, you do is actually 50 ringgit a month. Mm. So if we share, just go back to the sharing example. Mm. If the sharing is per month, what you have to share maximum is 50 ringgit. If it exceeded that amount, we will roll over to the next month to share. Okay, oh. so it's very affordable. Fifty ringgit today. So I it's wonder regardless of your age, isn't it? Uh, okay, we started with uh, we started with the age range of eight to forty. Oh. Regardless of your regardless of your age, it's still only maximum fifty ringgit. Oh. And, and and we all know that if you go to any of the medical program, it won't cost you. You probably cannot get it at this price unless you are very young. Uh, unless you are like. Uh, maybe in 18 or 20 years old yeah. but if you are at a, at a working then uh, 50 ringgit is definitely and normally it comes with a limit as well if you buy insurance right yeah so for us because this is a sharing right mm. so there is no limit mm. no limit for per year no limit for lifetime and I'll, I, again I come back to say that it, it, it sounds scary but to <laughs> me it's that I I, I don't think you want to have the limit because if you claim very, if you share very high means you're going to be very unhealthy yeah. right but we believe that as long as we have a community big enough the sharing can be handled and I want to add is that we are actually working with ins- uh, insurance party and reinsurers the professionals in this particular industry mm-hmm. to, to figure out how to manage this, this risk better so that sharers can have really really peaceful mind to join the community yeah huh? Okay, how about the third one? Medical uh, benefits for life. So m- many of our sharers ask, oh, so what happened after we are 40 years old? If, as long as you're in, you'll be for life. As long as you continue to contribute every month, mm-hmm. participate in the sharing, you, you, you ride with us all the way until the end of day. <laughs> right? So what if you, you stop like contribution for okay. a certain time? So what happened is that actually to join is also very easy. I, I, later we probably can go through how yeah. to join. Yeah. But you want to withdraw, you feel that this is not something you want to. It's also at the click of button. But you happen to withdraw, then you can no longer share at the point when you withdraw. But if you re-enter again, you are subject yourself to 100, what we call it 120 days of deferred period. That means you have to wait for 120 days. Oh. Then only you can start sharing. So you can come back anytime you want because we feel that people sometimes make decisions in their life for whatever reasons best known to them, yeah. themselves. So if they decide to withdraw, they can withdraw unless they are withdraw for some not so uh, good reason. Because when you withdraw, you are not going to get any money back, right? Because whatever share is sharing. Uh, yeah. So what you do is that because in this program, you put a hundred ringgit as a deposit with the trustee. Mm. Uh, the money is used to be deducted to share every month mm. depending on the monthly amount. Uh, what we, what we say is that if you withdraw, for, for example, this particular month, if you withdraw, then you have to be committed to that, that sharing for that particular month. Oh. Any balance, the trustee will refund to you. Okay. On a deposit, yeah. On a deposit, mm. okay. Uh, one of these things is that every time I'm sure, I mean, you, you, you know that if any of you fall sick or your family member falls sick and then you get an advice from a doctor, then you always come first and come across as, can I check with somebody else or not? Mm. Who do I check with? Uh, how do I know that this is the right thing to do? Uh, is this expensive or not? So I, what happens is that going through our professional medical auditor, EMAS, uh, Eximus Medical Solutions and uh, we actually also engage another party professionals globally uh, to be able to pro- provide a second professional opinion. They will tell you that should you do this operation, should you wait? Uh, you Of course, it will cost you a little bit money, but you can get access to professionals. With today's technology, you can access to global doctors easily. Mm-hmm. Not gone out the old days whereby you got to know which mm. doctor to ask for. Uh, I think so. That's so you mean this? It. This is a second professional opinion. This is a something that is built in for the sharers. That means yes. you, when you are diagnosed with some major illness, you can you always can, ask. You can get this second opinion and free of charge. Is it? Uh, if if we're going through our uh professional medical auditor, then we won't charge you. Mm. But if you want a global doctor's experience, uh, which which we actually engage in a company called Medo Asia, mm. uh, then they will pop, they will they will charge us a nominal fee for I you. See. Okay, good. 
and how about the panel hospitals? Yeah, well? one of these things is that okay, if I join a program, which hospital can I go to? You can pretty much go to most of the hospitals exist in in, in Malaysia mm -hmm. with a few selected few that we uh for that that I think very few that you you, do, you can't get access to. You check go to our website, you can see the whole uh long list of uh, both private and uh yeah, where, where public can we hospitals. Check it? Maybe you go into the panel hospitals. Yeah. yeah. Panel hospitals. So these are the Correct. So you can oh. go these are by states and then once you click on it. Let's look at Selangor. I think most people uh, are from Selangor. Right. So if you look at it, uh, even Glen Eagles is in there. So we gotta look for uh because it's uh this is it what? Well, Glen no, Eagle it, will be, be in KL. Kuala Lumpur, right? Yeah. Uh. Right. Hmm? That what's the name? Oh, this is a, this, this is a, no, this is a public, right? Like you, you, oh, you, uh, this is the government hospital. Uh, so sorry, you can go to uh, private. Sorry about that. Private. Uh, okay. So because usually I look at it through my app. <laughs> so looking at such a big screen does get me a bit. Uh, <laughs> Where is Kuala Lumpur? Oh, Villa Pasar Kuala Lumpur. Ah, here it is. So you see, Glenigals. yeah, okay, even Glenigals is in there. It's so the Jalan Ampang one. Okay. We have signed up all. Uh, what do you say? Just sort of show your app in your app in your profile <laughs> later. Where if you go through this uh, registration, I'll show you at the profile that there, there's an EMAS logo, which is our partner. Then with that, you can actually get admitted to uh, the hospital. So, so does the process also go through like uh like what the insurance industry uh, do? Is like you have to go get the letter of guarantee, things like that. Yeah, very uh, similar, similar because uh like it or not, a hospital want to make sure that you can get paid only they let you come in. Mm -hmm. Uh, our process is very similar because EMAS also handle for uh insurance, insurance industries as mm -hmm. well. So they are very professional. They are experienced in this industry. Mm -hmm. Uh, what they do is that we have two two, two kind of category. If you emergency, if you suddenly something you cut yourself, uh profusely bleeding, you got to admit it. Yeah. Then what you do is just make a phone call mm -hmm. uh, to EMAS and you just got go straight to hospital. Then the, the EMAS will know which hospital you're in and they will arrange for it. Oh. But what we normally try to do is that because a lot of times, because this is a community program, we want people to know that whether certain illnesses is really necessary or if it's not emergency, how, how best to, to take care of it. Is that what you do is that after usually when you see it, you would see a general practitioner, they'll say, okay, maybe you should go to hospital to do this. Then what we do is we send the notice, send the diagnosis to EMAS. Then EMAS will come back within the three to seven working days to say that, okay, we'll give you a guarantee letter mm -hmm. to go into the hospital. So you should go through a guarantee letter process. Okay. So good, a standard process. And uh, right. what is this bereavement payment? Uh, bereavement yeah. payments. Yeah. Usually, in, in most of the, this is basically in a simple way, in, uh, in, uh, in, it, it is meant to help if the sharer uh, meet an unfortunate time that means if he, if he or she passed away mm -hmm. so what we do is that we have a amount set of 50,000 mm -hmm. to be shared among the community members oh. so so that that is meant to because usually when this kind of death is un untimely mm -hmm. for people who need some money it's not a large amount but it's a sufficient amount to probably defray some of the critical expenses happen when mm -hmm. in, when when death is untimely so we do have this bereavement payment feature built in into our community oh, I see so it sounds like free life insurance for everyone. Mm. <laughs> no, nothing is free. I think at the end day, it's all about sharing, right? Yeah. So because this 50,000 is going to be shared among the community at all. Mm. But I think an important thing is that I, I want to talk about this sharing concept is that I think in our life, we share on many things. I mean, when, 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 we, when we are born, uh, okay, so the, the easiest thing to think about is when you get married, right? Mm. You collect ang pao, you collect gifts. It's actually yeah, a, it's a, a sharing, right? sharing, right? <laughs> so when you when you give birth to your first son or your first daughter, you also got congratulatory ang pao yes. or, uh, or got gifts. That again is the sharing. Mm. Actually, when you pass away, as we, as we for Chinese, right? You get what you call the the uh, pakam. Uh, the pakam, yes. Uh, so the pakam <laughs> is also a sharing. It, if, yeah. if, if you look at it in the, in that way, it's actually yeah. a sharing to defray the the expenses. So from the point of view, said that's why I think come back to just now. I said we are a crowd sharing. Uh, platform that means the crowd comes together mm -hmm. because they are like-minded they believe that medical cost is a problem medical cost is something their health is their important to them so we come together we share the cost yeah. so when you're healthy it's okay but you will think if you're healthy I got nothing but remember you when you're healthy you're actually helping others and then you never know when it's un untimely you help yourself so when you help others also can help yourself I think and then for a mere cost of 
less than 50 ringgit a month I think uh, it's good you just save not to eat one nasi lemak uh, a day then you're pretty much taken care of <laughs> uh, I, not, not, nothing against the nasi lemak seller because I love to eat also <laughs> Yeah, me too. So, uh, okay, now about the eligibility of uh, how our uh, sharers, uh, how do you participate? So let, let's talk a little bit about uh, what make them qualifies to. Okay, you know. I think I think the first thing is that you you we set it at the age age range of uh, eight to forty for the time being, and there's very reason for it is because eight to forty most of people know that it's the healthiest age range that's the healthiest age yeah. age. so it's just like any community any society we need a healthy bunch to build the community yes. right so that we can take care of the old and the young right yeah. so same thing we'll build a young community age because that is also less problem happen yeah. once you have a built community we can actually allow the the older ones or the more junior ones to come in which tend to probably more prone to sickness or younger one, maybe we are get more worried to have the sickness. Yeah. So, so I think the age start is eight to forty at this point. We do, we do plan to extend the age once the community builds up. Mm. Uh, you must be Malaysians at this point. I have mean, to be we, citizen, right? Not uh, PR. Uh, right? Yeah, so we're Malaysians. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So, uh, because we, we we want to address to solve a Malaysia problem at this point, uh, <laughs> yeah. we we may consider expanding it later. But currently, this is a Malaysian program. Uh, the last two items you see is active and healthy mm. because this is to address a medical cost solving your medical bill is a very short term issue but getting you healthy is a long term solution yeah. so with this program what we go forward is that we will we'll, we'll, we'll provide a lot of education mm. to, uh, to, to let you know how do you take care of yourself how do you keep a healthy lifestyle how to keep yourself active uh, what are the sicknesses you should know? What to do when you have certain sicknesses? So we're working with EMAS, our 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 professional medical auditor, to to come up with educational program, and then we intend to work with uh, Ministry of Health and and other relevant parties to to come up with this. And, and the last thing is honest, because I think this society it might be actually a very fluffy word. People say hey, honest. How do you define? Yeah. But I think this is a community. So I I believe everybody actually have genuine interest in this. So we of course uh. So we want people to say that why we say honest is that as we, later we go through the registration, we we'll ask you, are you healthy? Then you you you, you ask me, hey, how come you ask me the question, are you healthy? So then I get because your community will ask you, are you healthy? Yeah. Then you have to answer you're healthy. If you're not healthy, if you answer you're healthy, then you will subject yourself to disqualification if we find out, yeah. right? So so the honesty is important because we are building a, building a community. We are not for making profit when it comes to this crowd sharing uh, medical costs. So, so honesty becomes uh, one of the basic fundamental for the program. Yeah, good. Okay, so now come to the sensitive part. You know, it's like, oh, so it sounds like n- there's nothing in it for you guys. No. <laughs> so how to uh, make money? <laughs> actually, to be honest, if we get this program up, it is already every is something in it for everybody because that means your medical cost is you don't have to worry right yeah. but more importantly is to say hey how do we continue to go forward yeah. uh, which is in generally most people say how do you make money yeah. right uh, the way we make money is that basically it is a concept of again I come back to sharing economy in this digital world by virtue of coming up together as a community we actually pull our data together mm-hmm. with our data we can attract advertising oh. right so with our data together as a community the true sense of sharing economy comes out. A lot of a lot of people talk about sharing economy. Actually, is mm. not truly. Like for example, Uber is a sharing, but sharing the profit doesn't come to split with everybody, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, the, 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 the the profit is only the owner, uh, not, right? Sorry, just mm. no mean to just yeah. target Uber, but the e healing uh, industry is is is. The, the profit doesn't share among of course it creates a lot of convenience which yes. is very good I, I, I use Uber I, in fact yeah. I used Uber yesterday so I think it's a great thing but in our case in the life engineering we actually pull all the community together we use the community power to get advertisement and then also to collaborate with like-minders uh, like-minded businesses for example we can negotiate with uh tire shops and they say okay collectively for the uh, uh, life engineering community mm. we will get a 10 percent rebate oh. uh, for all this advertising revenue and the rebate you get what we do is that we have put it in our program guideline 30 percent of the uh, oh. of the of the profit will go back to the share pool and what does it mean if you go back to the share pool it will lower the cost so for example it was just go back to just now the example if you have hundred thousand medical costs for the ten thousand community now i collected a uh, 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 20,000 revenue 
uh, of the thirty percent of thirty percent coming twenty thousand. Yeah. So you, the total medical cost becomes only eighty thousand. So you you share eight ringgit instead of sharing ten ringgit. So so in that sense, you actually truly a sharing economy. You share what we call. I mean, today's world we call we digital crumbs that we left behind. Now we pull it together in community to share, and then but the the revenue we generate we plow back into the community to to do. So, yeah. so that's why it's very important for you to go out and share this, and then the more the sharers joining community, the stronger we are. Oh, right. As a community, right? Right. Okay. Good. So nice. Thirty percent is pouring back to yes. benefit every sharer. Right. Okay, good. So this is the website you have, uh, lifeengineering.mine, and you, you can go to the Facebook, uh, LE Care, Instagram, and you have uh, your uh, customer service staff. Right, uh, answer right. Answering phone call. So let's get to the next part where we're going to demonstrate. Sure. Yes. It should, that. Be, it, it should be a <laughs> fun one. So you go to our website. Yep. You just type lifeengineering.my. Okay, so this is the right. main site. Yeah. Okay. Then you come to the main page. If you look at the heading, if you can scroll through. Yeah. We have talk talk about us, okay. right? So this is talk about the benefits that I mentioned yeah. about. And, uh, and you, you have your apps, right? Yeah, you can register with Google. Our, our iOS is still pending approval. We're mm -hmm. working on it. Mm -hmm. uh, this usually it's it's, it's harder, like, slightly more challenging with Apple. Uh, but we believe we will get it. Uh, the Android is available. Just a matter of time. Right? Yeah, it's a matter of time. Yeah. But I think everybody can get access to a browser, so you can mm -hmm. just even from a mobile phone, even if you have Apple, which is why I do. I have mm -hmm. I have a uh, Apple as well. Then you go to lifeengineering.my. Yeah. You go to the 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 top top right hand corner next to the language selection that's called join now. Join now. So you just click. click. Okay. Then it take you straight into the 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 web version of it. The first few screens are all about a simple summary about us. So okay. if you have scroll through after you scroll through, if uh, then you then you can just click proceed. Okay, so proceed. Okay. Then, uh, if you're an existing member, you can log in, mm. right? If you're not an existing member, then you just click join today. Join today. Right. So, so uh, you're supposed to key in your mobile number okay. because we use a mobile number to register. It's a mobile number, right? Okay. Because we, we make it mobile so that it can convenient for you to go around. Yeah. Then you key in your name. So Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do it for, because I'm not eligible, I'm over 40. Oh, ah, okay. So I'm going to yeah, do it yeah. for my son. So, uh, okay, sorry, I'll take this off screen <laughs> to do it. Okay, uh, let me input my name. So for those people who are on, the, on, on this, you can actually go to our website and you can try to register. Okay. Right? Uh, I, you just have to make sure you have your... So uh, like the user details, should I ins insert my, my son's name or my name? Your, your son's name, because son's he's name. the one that is a sharer. He's the sharer. But okay. because he's uh, under 18, he needs a guardian. So okay. the guardians would, for two reasons, are one, know that he's actually joining this, two is to cover his payment. Okay, so I'm going to enter my email address. Right. So I think it's very self. Uh, and the IC number? Uh, your son's my IC. Son, uh. So you register as sharer, everybody is have their own account. It's just that if you are a minor, minor means you are below 18 years old, then you need a guardian. Uh, guardian is for two reasons, uh, one for legality, two is for payment. Then in, in the emergency, okay, I, I've done the, the info, right. right? So the emergency contact will be... Then you can put yourself. Put myself, uh, okay. So because what happened is that when you are admitted to hospital, we actually will send a message to the uh, emergency contact for two reasons. One is to verify the genuinity of you. Two is also to, 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 to inform your, your loved one in terms of you are actually at the hospital. Okay, so there's a security question. Correct. Uh, Just for you to recover later your your, your oh, password okay and then uh, then you have to upload uh, in the web version you have to upload uh, your IC so image so this is the IC image that yeah. I can upload right right okay let me see uh, I have my IC prepared so this is this my is your IC. son's IC my yes. son's IC yeah. because once the system will okay. detect the system will detect that uh, of your age uh, if you are below 18, then the next screen will come up later. Okay. Right? They'll, say, they'll tell you that, oops, you are below 18. The system will require guardians particular. So you so click OK. Okay, okay. Then KC will need to fill in your own particulars. OK, I'll do that. Okay. So this is uh, actually very easy to do, right? Just yeah. follow the step. It's, it's, it's meant to be this way that actually don't need... I mean, most people who, who use this uh, nowadays, 
it, it's so common you just register for something it takes you only a few minutes but you just get your you just get your IC and everything ready mm. so I click uh, okay so that do that maybe Casey can show these questions yeah. uh, so after you key in your particulars then you pop up this do you remember we talked about this uh, honest and uh, so we'll go through a, a terms of declaration so first of all you have to know that you are healthy you don't have any existing medical medical conditions because otherwise it become unfair to mm, yeah. put the burden on the rest to share right yeah okay second thing is that you know how you you make sure they fulfill the eligibility that you have been 8 to 40 you know okay. you're active and all that so you can read the program guidelines you can click and you can read the read the program gu guidelines you take you to another page to read the program guidelines uh -huh. right and we are very transparent we tell you exactly what is in there uh so for our program so you can just go through it uh Ooh. yeah okay nice okay and then, so uh, the, then you have read the program guidelines you okay you have read the legal disclaimer because this is a sharing community so whatever the risk is actually shared by everybody it's not it's not it's not being picked up by a life engineering so because all as a sharer we share the, the, the risk together okay then uh, there are two debits that typically will do all right, one is basically for the deposit that goes to the trustee, independent mm -hmm. trustee. The second one is the annual participation fee. There's a minimum fee that we collect to, to, to engage the trustee, to engage the, the uh, medical professionals to defray some of the costs. But for today, actually we have, uh, for, for the initial launch, we have the uh, free lifetime uh, annual participation fee. That means you don't have to pay for the rest of the life. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it will cost you 100 ringgit every year. Every year, so yeah. that, that's a, uh, okay. So if you sign up, well, for the first 2,000 that sign up, you don't have to pay this amount, right? But you can still click, but you won't debit your account, okay? So that means uh, we are just going to pay 100 one time at, yeah. this, uh, at this moment? Correct. Okay. That will go to the trustee. And then this 100 will be like deposit in the trustee, and then they'll uh, every month the sharing fee of 50 ringgit, they'll deduct from that Correct. deposit. Every month, the, but uh, Casey, yeah, is that yeah. it's, not, it's not always 50, right? Remember, we said that if yeah. there's no, nothing to share, that month I don't deduct from you. If that month the sharing is 30 ringgit, I only deduct, I only, cl I, I will claim the 30 ringgit from the trustee. Mm. So you ask me, you ask me a question, so when do the money will run out in the deposit, yeah. right? Yeah. So the system in such a way that if the deposit that you keep with the trustee drop below 50 ringgit, mm -hmm. then the system will automatically trigger to charge a credit card. Uh, charge a credit card yeah. to bring the deposit back into 100, 100 ringgit again. So will, will it be possible that uh, in one particular month that you have to share more than 50 ringgit? No. Will that happen? It will no. not. Oh. Uh, unless we have changed the cycle, but the current cycle is only monthly. I see. So I would like to receive newsletter, yeah. so I'll just click agree. Okay. Then we go through about a few of a uh, handful of questions about your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, that is actually a way to us to get to know yourself. So you yeah. say, ask yourself, are you a healthy person? Okay. Then yes, yeah. right? Have you been diagnosed of any of the following conditions? These are critical illness. Okay. Uh, it, did you just click yes? I know, right? It should be no. Yeah, okay, Only okay. the first is yes. Okay. Uh, no, you got to read because some <laughs> is yes, some is no. So it's meant to, okay. for you to really read, All right? Okay. Are you currently on any long term medication? No. No. Okay. So this answering for my son, isn't it right? Ah, this right. answering for your son. Do you a regular medical checkup? Uh, uh no, it's too ah, small to so, do that. Right. Do you currently own any medical insurance? Yes. Okay. Do you take any supplement currently? No. Are you a smoker? No. Do you have been rejected by insurance? No. Okay. Then you declare that, that whatever you okay. declare is true. And that's it. Uh, a four-digit code will be sent to your phone. Oh. Oh yeah, it comes. Okay. Then you just the uh, then just key. This is okay. Just just key in the number. Okay. It can't verify. So, so that's it. That's it. So you can re-log in with the, just now the password that you have, you have created. So the first time log in, they'll ask you to go to the payment because the payment will debit your 100 ringgit. Mm. Just now after you register, we still have not debited because you have not provided your oh, credit card information. Yeah. So now you have already gone through, you will proceed, it will take you to the payment screen to basically ah, key in your see. credit card information. Okay. And this is done, this is handled by uh, mm. MOL Pay. So it's uh, one of the licensed uh, uh, payment gateway okay. uh, in Malaysia. Okay, good. Yeah, let's uh, just go all the way in, right? Yeah. I'll do that. 
So this is a typical key in your credit card, then you debit your card for uh, 100 ringgit. Ah, it's beating. Okay, yep. now I come up with the code. Okay, let me see, got any sensitive information? Okay, no, I can show it to you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a... So you see that there's a 3 ringgit behind. Basically that is a gateway charge by MOL, because we are sharing, the, because we don't make money out of this. So this particular cost in the sharing side will be borne by, by, by the sharer, him or herself. La. Okay. Because otherwise you wonder, ask me, hey, just now I mentioned 100, how come it comes 103? Right, because that is effectively the, yeah. the GST as well as the gateway charges done charged by uh, our payment gateway. Ah, I see. Okay, so yeah, it's refreshing here. I think that's it. I think you're, you're qualified so already. That's it. The, ah. the, now, now you're a sharer. So what happens ah. if you go to the main screen, if you go to the home screen, that's where the counter is, right? Look, you scroll down. Yeah. You sc uh, scroll down. Ah, I see. It's down already. No, I, I scroll up, sorry. Uh, ah, here. So you see the 60 days, I need to explain a little bit. So mm. all the new sharer, every new sharer will join in, mm. will subject themselves to 60 days waiting period. Mm. So that means 60 days, you cannot do uh, any claim, right? Do any, uh, do any claim or cannot go to hospital under this particular program. Mm. The reason is this is basically a, a, a risk uh, uh, management for all the sharers to be yes. fair so that people don't come with uh, pre-existing conditions and yeah. join straight away and the next day go to the hospital I think the insurance company also the, the, the same they are doing the same yes thing, yes yeah. it, this is actually not just insurance uh, this is all call you, you just have to stop yeah. the people who negative self-select coming to join any <laughs> of the community <laughs> to take right? advantage to of, the take thing, advantage right? of yeah. certain things because I think this is to protect sharers because we are long-term program 60 days nothing because it's a whole life 60 days out of the whole life is nothing <laughs> okay good so I think uh, that's all right for the... Yeah, that's it. You're qualified. Just is, all, is there anything the you want to show in, in the members area? I think if you go to uh, go to profile, uh, I mean, you scroll up, uh, that's profile. You click the... No, you come to note to hospital, uh, scroll up. See the note to hospital. So when you go to hospital, uh. you show on your phone. Hmm. Then you show to the hospital, this is the this is our, the, our uh, professional medical auditor. Uh. And this is the number you can call them regarding your admission to hospital. Uh, right? If you show this to the hospital, they'll recognize you as uh, one of their uh, recognized payee. Ah, I uh, see. So it's important that you show this part of it. Okay, okay, okay good. Good, nice. Uh, so I think uh, you, you have shown us a lot of stuff. So let's get to some of the Q&A, right? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I see nice. the, thing screen, the, the things are coming up, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, let me go through the question. So if you have any question, just type in the chat box. Okay, that's the question saying, uh, I'm currently healthy. So what if one day I fell sick due to some sort of cancer? So am I still covered? Yes, the, the, it's, it's like this. When you have to be healthy when you join. And I think that's the whole point of having this community, right? We can't ensure we are healthy for the rest of our life. And then that's when we join a community mm. that you need the help. Mm. So but at the point, at the onset, when you join, you have to be healthy. Yeah. Okay, the next question is that I'm already above 40 now at age 44. Can I still join as a sharer just to contribute but not going to claim? Is it just want to share? Wow. Actually, it's this is a very noble. I mean, yeah. thank you. Thank you for, for, for this. And in fact, actually, we have this idea. It's just that we have not introduced it yet. Just like myself, yeah. I'm above 40. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another thing of way of doing charity. Like. We yeah. will launch a program and we look forward to people like that, uh, like, 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 like this particular individual to do that because yeah. 50 ringgit, actually to me, maximum 50 ringgit is like one something a, yeah. a day. So it's, it's, it's a dedicated charity. You know exactly how it's going to go to. But right? thank, thank you for the thought. Uh, I think it's very good, right? We, make, we call them like volunteer or something. Yes, like. yes. <laughs> in, fact, in, in fact, later you may ask me, so if you are not healthy, I can't join a program. How do I solve my medical problem? What we do is that we, we will launch later a, a, a concept called compassionate uh, sharing, mm. which means people who are sick already, but they shouldn't be coming in to burden the program directly, mm. but they can choose to list. So it's a bit like a donation charity drive. Mm. So you can put it, and then all the community members can, all the sharers can choose to uh, contribute. Ah. But it's on a volunteer basis. Volunteer basis. Ah. That means, that means uh, for those who, what we see is like normally in the media, they, will, Correct. Um, Correct. they, they need maybe 200,000 of surgi surgical fees. Right. So they go to the newspaper and right. then uh, do this kind of like... So in this charity. case, because we are of the same like-minded people, so yeah. we don't mind helping others, but we cannot force people to help people who are already sick. 
But so this 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 particular program called compassionate sharing will come in a later stage once we build up the the core community. Yeah. Okay. But it's a very nice guy to do that uh, to to offer to contribute as a charity. Thank you so much. Okay, answer this. Uh, may I know how the insurance company responds to this? Especially there are so many full-time insurance agents will be affected. Whereby when these apps grow, this will affect the commission-based insurance agents. Mm. What do you think about this disruption? <laughs> actually, actually, uh, the, 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 the answer is actually we, we are working together with industri- insurance industries. In fact, uh, uh, we are talking to an insurance company. I am uh, My... Uh, latest joint advisor is actually from a reinsurance company. I think we don't do insurance. We only handle medical costs. In the industry, insurance industry, they have a lot of other insurance, life insurance, yeah. uh, personal accident. They have, so they have many other insurance. In fact, we are working with them to say, if you save money on your medical costs, yeah. if you save money on your medical cost premium, you can use that money to do other investment into yeah. let's say life insurance into endowment plan into investment link those are what insurance want to do what we believe in life engineering is that we only want to do something that really going to be revolutionized through technology to help others uh, to just do insurance will be just uh, distribution so for us we don't mind offer that the right insurance product through our insurance partner to the community but we definitely don't do insurance so that it, the agents won't have to worry you still have your yeah. You still have your commissions and all that for the other products. So is this it's just affecting probably it will affect the insurance uh, on medical Correct. fees, the hospitalizing surgical Correct. only. But not other part because it's still major. Because part the insurance their yeah, major part is on life on, on life, endowment. Yeah, they're on selling all other plans, it's not like they want to sell medical plan, right? Correct. <laughs> Correct. Okay, good. Good questions and good answer as well. May I know how the Insurance company, oh, oops, this is done. Okay, let me see the next questions. Uh, s- since this is non-profit organization, is it the admin costs and expenses of running business is not taken from the crowd shed fund? So how do the organization fund their business expense such as staff salary and office rental, etc.? Okay, uh, good questions. I think just now we talk, talk a bit about it is that once the community is built up, we can use the community to generate advertising revenue. We can go to negotiate, block negotiate with a lot of the like-minded businesses. Like for example, I give the tire, tire businesses, businesses, whereby they know that people, we're gonna come in buying in bulk, they'll give us a rebate. Mm. Of the advertise, advertisements mm. revenue, as, as, as well as the, the rebate, mm. 30% comes back to the crowd share pool. The balance 70% will use to defray the cost, yeah. right? But, but you might wonder, then how do we survive now when the community is being built up? I mean, we actually got private investors to fund us for mm. the time being. So, so the time being is from the private investors? Correct. Yeah. Ne- n- we don't take the money from the sharers at all. Okay. Good man. May I know like, how many sharers you have right now? If, if it's okay. Uh, we, we have not. It, actually, it's transparent. If yeah. you register as a member, the number oh. of sharers will pop up in a screen. Oh, really? Yeah. How if do you it, see uh, that? Let's see. You go to... Uh, uh, I go to home page, I think. Because this is in a... Uh, there you see the ah, active. Ah. Oh, okay. So the active, okay, mm. we have uh, two categories, an active and non-inactive. Inactive means those people who are still in the 60 days waiting. Oh. We call them inactive. So we were still small because we just roll out. And then yeah. I think we try to address a lot of the public concern about public question, uh, not so much concern yeah. about this. So I think hopefully through this program, more people will know about it and we yeah. truly believe this thing will take off. So we are still very, very at the very early stage of our program. Okay, so you have one more today, right? I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. But it doesn't show up here because you'll show up in inactive. Because it's inactive. I'm yeah, still inactive. Right. It shows in inactive, yeah. Actually, okay. we have a lot more in inactive. Okay, good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, JJ is want to know is, uh, is, is this platform regulated in any way? Uh, we, we, what we believe is that because we are a crowd sharing platform, uh, in Malaysia, there is no regulations required to do crowd sharing regulations. I mean, you have P2P, you have uh, equity crowdfunding. We are not equity crowdfunding. We are not P2P. Uh, but we do believe that we are into an industry that is of public concern. Mm-hmm. We are working very closely. Uh, we keep very closely in touch with uh, the central bank uh, to figure out how to make this, uh, the, this, this crowd sharing better. So, but in a, in, a, in a short, that is actually not regulated in that sense, mm-hmm. but we do believe that uh, help and guidance from the authority could be useful. Yeah. So in fact, uh, you just mentioned to me that you are, you are going to Central Bank today. Yeah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, am, I am going to Central Bank today. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Uh, is, uh, 
another question is about the scope of coverage is there like uh, uh, I don't know uh, is there any exclusion on anything okay we, we, we are very from that in, the, in that respect we are very similar to medical health insurance mm -hmm. you look you go to our program guidelines it will tell you what we do not cover uh, usually actually we do most of it right we do most of it with the exception that you cannot have it as a pre-existing condition that means you cannot be sick and then come in and then expecting the community to share Otherwise, if it's developed after you join as a member, mm. then it can be shared just like any other medical health plan that you have. But if you go into our our uh, program guidelines, it will be very clear in terms of what can be what can be shared. Uh, just on section four, section four, uh, share medical expenses. Yeah, so you that that would be what's medical. That, that would be a long list of medical expenses eligible for sharing, not eligible for sharing, and things like that. Will it be more or less uh, like same like the insurance? Yeah, policy? very similar. Yes, very similar. Yes, okay. very similar. So, so I'm wondering like how do you uh, like for my experience is that when when a uh, policyholder they want to make a claim, and sometimes when uh, insurance uh, company they are sus suspicious about certain claim is maybe faulty, so they will maybe do some investigation. Maybe they some send letters to all the clinics uh, nearby where he stays and you know, just to find out whether this is a pre-existing condition or not. So how do you control this part? Okay. Do that? Yeah. One, one of the things is that uh, we do similar stuff. That's why we actually engage a professional uh, called EMAS. Uh, they actually do that, that so-called oh, investigation. Oh, they do that service as well. They oh. do that service. Oh. We, we actually have the full service exactly, full capabilities exactly like the uh, insurance, insurance company. company yes. Oh. yes. Okay, good. The next question now, this is crowdfund. Uh, this crowdfunding is to cover medical costs. So what happens if someone got critical illness? Will there be a lump sum living benefit? Okay. Uh, it, we, we don't have a critical critical illness coverage. That's why exactly I say that insurance, insurance companies still have the, the, their, their product to sell. Yep. Uh, but if you're if you, if you, if you, if you, when you join, if you're healthy, and then somehow maybe five years later, 10 years later, you develop a critical illness and you're being hospitalized, then your hospitalization cost can be shared. So, for example, you you after ten years uh, of the too much nasilama, not <laughs> nasilama again, uh, to become uh, unhealthy, you got a a, a, a heart attack. Yeah. Then uh, the hospitalization bill for the heart attack can will, can be shared. So basically, uh, you're just covering the medical fees. So it's not like money paid to you. Right? No, okay, no. Good. But we do have the bereavement payment. But that once nobody want to look forward to it lah. You see, if you are untimely yeah, death, yeah, that, that, that 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 you have so, that. So is that possible that uh, they, they go to the hospital that is not within your panel and then they pay with their own money and then later on claim from, from the sheriffs? Uh, currently, because we have such a wide coverage, I mean, you have 200 old hospitals, we probably pretty much cover 95% of the hospitals. So it's very unlikely. So you should go to the panel hospital. You should go to panel hospital, <laughs> right? Because I have 95, why wouldn't you choose the 5%? <laughs> and, and in this case, I can see that no? when you are a member, you can also see how much the uh, crowd share amount. Correct. That means like, that, does that mean uh, the, the amount claimed by the sheriffs? Correct. Everything everything is very transparent. We, you can see, actually, in fact, because we currently we don't have anybody uh, shared their medical costs, hmm. you go in, actually, we'll, we'll show you every case. Oh. But of course, we cover up the, the identity. We, we, for that, like, for example, like I see the last four digits will be, will be covered up. Uh, but we'll tell you exactly which hospital they seek, how much is the cost. Mm -hmm. So it's, everything is transparent. Okay. So you know that you're actually sharing your actual cost. Okay, good. The next question is about a uh, professional working in Singapore. If he got an accident in, in Singapore, so uh, is he covered in mm. this case? Uh, no, the short answer is no. Currently, we only, unless you get treated in, uh, in Malaysia, if in you come, Malaysia. come back to yeah. go to Johor or something. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> unless you get treated in Malaysia. Uh, we only uh, accept treatment that is done in Malaysia. Okay. Since, since commencement, what's the average cost sharing per month with increasing share? Is the trend towards increasing or decreasing value? I think it's pretty new. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're pretty new. We don't have any incidence of sharing. The, 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 the idea is that the bigger the community, the less you have to share. It's, mm. it's a very simple, you know, a thousand ringgit share with 10 people, you got 100 and a thousand ringgit yeah. share with a thousand people, you got one ringgit. So I think this is where the power of number yeah. comes into play. And then, and then I, I really urge everybody to join. If you are above 40, sign up your children, sign up your friends, uh, because the more it is, you will be able to address the issue that one day will hit us because we can't be healthy yeah. throughout our life. Like for example, like my son now joined, so after two months he's active. Yeah. And, and nobody claimed 
still like maybe six months down the road yeah. then that means uh, my hundred the person is still there yes never you'll, see, you'll see that hundred yeah I still never use yeah. right so it is that's why that's why we say we are not insurance right because we don't we don't take money from you yeah. we only deduct to to share okay so uh, according to your own estimation when you come up with the I mean the the, the estimation the, the projection for this plan uh, this club sharing plan uh, how many user do you need to have like active user to actually uh, make this really meaningful and going to be sustainable for long term I think I think we're probably looking at maybe twenty thousand mm. within the next twelve months. Uh, that would make it meaningful. Mm. Uh, twenty thousand is actually a very small number if everybody gets the understanding. Yeah, it's thirty right. million, right? Yeah. So <laughs> sure. so I think we all will forsake one point in time in our life. Uh, to make it sustainable, I think it is sustainable from day one because if we get the targeting between eight to forty correct, mm. chances of eight to forty to become develop major illnesses is very low. Mm. Two is that we are actively now working with uh, looking at insurance and reinsurance to manage the risk mm-hmm. further so I think with that and then three is that with a more education and healthy lifestyle mm-hmm. uh, active, being active I think that that, that that cost will come down over time so you say that the, the amount is kept at 50 ringgit sharing so right. whatever they claim at maximum we are going to fork out only 50 ringgit per right. person right. so what if the, the pool is not enough for that month's particular month okay. of claim so what happened to the so to bridge the current period to yeah. bridge the current period what we have done is that we've set aside money to to uh, we, we, call, we actually going to establish a medical fund hmm. we'll raise the money from from uh, some other investors to hmm. basically to temporary to, bridge to cover this like, uh, maybe this 12 period. months uh, right, before to, you to, hit that 10,000 really right? correct Yes. I see. So you are going to come up with your own money if something happens. Yes. Like, oh, wow. Okay. Good. Uh, let's get to just a couple more questions. As time is running out. Yeah, it's a long, uh, long, yeah, long list lot. of questions, uh, right? <laughs> feel free to feel, feel free to email us, email email Casey or myself. Uh, to to do this. Yeah. Since uh, I think this is shown in a slide, you can. Uh, uh, they you don't can have call this number, here. right? You can just e- you can just email us lah. Uh, 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 you can your email? You can just email my yeah. Is it? You can go to contact. Uh, do that. Uh, at the bottom. At the bottom. Uh, where do I get? Ah, right here. Info at lifeengineering If you yes. couldn't answer your question today, so make sure you email this, and yeah. we will have some uh, people to reply you. So if under eight years old is not eligible still. Not at this point. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay so for any specific illnesses or, or some details that is like whether it's, it's just it's, refer uh, to yeah, the section 4 refer yeah. this one yeah refer this one please okay just answer one more if uh, it will not be necessary to contribute 50 ringgit per month only if my account get less than 50 ringgit then you will deduct 100 from my card is that correct uh, no I will deduct enough to bring it back up to 100 so for example, your outstanding is you left in the account is forty five ringgit. Now I'll deduct fifty five ringgit to bring it up to hundred. Ah, so it, so in my case is that now I still have hundred. So I deduct nothing. So when it drops to below fifty, that for example is thirty five. Because after one round of crowd sharing, mm. you left with only thirty five. I'll deduct sixty five ringgit to bring it up to hundred. Okay, good. And good then this history is tra- is is shown in your apps or is shown in your account, in terms of what we deduct. Okay, nice. Uh, should we get one more question? Sure. <laughs> now the monthly contribution is capped at fifty ringgit. Is there a clause on how much will the max amount will be in the future, or else it could easily be uh, more than fifty ringgit monthly in the future? Because there will be definitely more claims coming in. Uh, what do you think? We we are capping at maximum of fifty. Is it? It is stated in the program guidelines. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So because the whole program is governed by program guidelines. It's like our our. Mm. Uh, Biggest reference book uh, in the, in the Christian, they call it Bible. I don't, in, in, in other <laughs> religion, they call it something different. But it's just basically our, a book of a guidance. Everything refers to program guideline. Then we commit ourselves to fifty. In fact, our vision, our vision, of course, is a bit challenging. Our vision is to eventually bring it to zero. Is because if we do generate enough revenue from advertisement, mm. generate enough la- revenue from the other businesses that we affiliate yeah. with, the money that every thirty percent of the profit that we plow back should eventually bring the money down, lower and lower. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Gim, for coming uh, to Thank the studio you. to do this. And uh, I guess uh, we have answered most of the questions. So if, if anything you still need, then you, of course you can always contact them. You can go to, if they if, even if they message you on your Facebook page, you can yes, have we, someone actually, to we, we reply, Yes, actually we do right? Im, uh, immediate response. Uh, not immediate, but we do a same day yeah. response. 
But I, I urge everybody to sign up because uh, currently we have a promotion of our uh, first 2,000 uh, sharers to be not having to pay the 100 ringgit annual participation fee. So that means uh, if after the promo period of 2,000, right? Then you have to pay 100 ringgit every, every year. Uh, every every year. year. Every year. Sorry, correct myself. Every but now year. it's like 100 just one time. Yeah. And uh, next year you don't have to renew on the no, 100. No, no, there are two, two sorry, just yeah. case you correct. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a joining fee. Oh, no, it's a participation fee. So every year you pay 100 ringgit. That's uh, how the program. Also, actually, that one also go to a certain extent defray our expenses. But for the first 2,000 member who join, they don't have to pay this at all for their entire lifetime. Oh. So what you do, what the only commitment you have to do is to pack 100 ringgit with the trustee to wait to be called shared as well. Oh. And the 100 ringgit is not spent, right? It's a mm. deposit with it's trustee. Deposit. Uh, if you choose to withdraw, uh, only committed to that particular month's cost share, the balance will be refunded. Okay, nice. Good, so uh, if possible, you can uh, sign up here, go to lifeengineering.my, right, and then click join now. Yeah, yeah please do, please do. I'll look forward to <laughs> all, of, uh, all of you sign up, if not, uh, you know, your, your, yourself or your children or your friends, pass the word around, right? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, bye-bye. Have a good day ahead. Hi, my name is Wenny. I'm from Life Engineering. I'm the marketing in life engineering. Please sign up our program and if you have any question, you can go to our Facebook and message, message us. Thank you.